Hello students, welcome to Technology Studies, Food and Textile Studies for Grade 8. Today, we will have a look at Unit 4, which is about self and family awareness. Today's topic will be healthy family relationships. At the end of this video, you will be able to list the importance of the family, define the term family relationships, identify the factors that contribute to healthy family relationships, list the consequences of unhealthy family relationships, and discuss ways you can contribute to build healthy family relationships. From the time we are born, we are surrounded by people who are close to us and who care for us. Namely, our parents, sisters, brothers, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and so on. Our family is the first group of people we are related to and with whom we interact with. Let us now see what are the importance of the family. A family caters for both the physical and emotional needs of its members. Examples of physical needs are food, shelter, clothing, education material, transport, and financial support. Examples of emotional needs are love, care, protection, emotional support, and teaches us values. Now, let us define family relationships. Family relationships refer to the ways we get along with each other. In healthy family relationships, members love each other, trust each other, and rely on each other for support, affection, and care. Family life can bring us great joy depending upon how well family relationships are going. Children who learn how to build healthy family relationships are more likely to grow up into confident and efficient member of the society. All of us would like to have healthy family relationships. What are the factors which contributes to healthy family relationships. They include time, display affection, celebrate together, and communicate. These are the four factors which contribute to healthy family relationships. Let's learn about each factor in more detail. Time. The family should spend time together, for example, having meals together, sharing breakfast, lunch and dinner with your family members will give you the opportunity to spend more time together. You will be able to learn polite table manners and parents will have a chance to be role models for their children. And so, the family ties, les liens familiaux, will be strengthened. Another way to spend time with the family is playing games together. Family members who play games like, example, domino, doing puzzles, crosswords, or video game are more close to each other. Watching a movie on TV 
or on the internet with your loved ones is a great way to spend time with them. It helps to strengthen the bonds of the family, promotes family togetherness and build traditions. The family can also use family outings such as going for camping or going to the seaside or riverside, picking up guavas at Plain Champagne or visiting L'Aventure du Suc with your family can help you spend more time with them. It will give all members the opportunity to have fun and relax. The second factor which contributes to healthy family relationships is displaying affection. Everyone has a different way of showing love and care. Any sign of affection, for example, hugs, kisses, pat on the back, high five, smiles, word of encouragement, show that you care. And this helps to develop trust and closeness in the relationship. It is especially important when one goes through difficult times, for example, going through illness or loss of someone dear. Another factor is celebrating together. Celebration should not be only for special occasion. Everyday ordinary moments can be made into happy occasions, which can be celebrated, for example, by clapping hands for a completed task at home, such as cleaning the house or words of praise for a good meal. Finally, we have communication. Communication means when there is dialogue among different members of the family. We must not only talk, but also listen to what others have to say. How can we build family relationships? This can be done by participating in activities together such as outings. Secondly, not holding grudges and being forgiving. Thirdly, behaving properly with members of the family. We can also help around with the household tasks, such as washing dishes, serving the meals, or mopping the house. Working hard at school can also contribute to build healthy family relationships. Behaving properly with your peers, your teachers and other adults play also a great role in building healthy family relationships because it will show respect to all. One way of showing your affection, love and to support any member of the family is to prepare a thank you card and give it to him or her. There you can see some examples of thank you card. What happens if we fail to build healthy family relationships? In all families, Misunderstanding occur. Negative interactions with families can be a source of tension for both parents and children. Family quarrels and anger are the most immediate signs of unhealthy family relationships. Often, this leads to more serious consequences, such as being disrespectful, Conflict, violence, members fall easy target to drugs, drop out from school, and problems with peers and at school.
In conclusion, we can say that building healthy family relationships is a lifelong process. It takes hard work and effort from all members of the family to maintain healthy and positive relationships. Family relationships also act as a safety net and prevent its members from becoming victims to all kinds of risky behaviors. And do not forget, no family is perfect. We argue, we fight, we even stop talking to each other at times, but in the end, family is family. The love always be there. On this note, bye! Thanks for watching!